Okay, let's uh, evaluate this uh, integral by making an appropriate substitution and then uh, integrating by parts. So let's do that. Uh, first, uh, I'm going to rewrite this uh, expression that is uh, 15x cube as like that. That is, uh, I'm going to rewrite this as uh, 15x squared times uh, x because x squared times x is x cube. That is basically I'm rewriting x cube as uh, x squared times x and then writing this as 15x squared times x and we then have uh, e raised to the power of 15x squared dx. So let's make the substitution now. So we do this uh, substitution that is uh, let 15x squared equals uh, p. Now let me take uh, differentials on both sides. So I have 15 times of uh, derivative of x squared is uh, 2x and when we take the differential we put this dx and this equals uh, derivative of t is 1 and then we put the differential dt. So we can solve for x dx from this one. Uh, 15 times 2 is uh, 30x uh, dx and this equals 1 times dt is uh, dt. I'm going to solve for x dx from this one by dividing both sides by 30. So I get uh, x dx equals uh, dt over 30. Now let's use this uh, substitution that is uh, 15x squared equals t. So therefore when we apply this substitution into this integral, we replace uh, all instances of 15x squared by t. So therefore this integral becomes this 15x squared will be replaced as uh, t and then we have this uh, x uh, times of uh, e raised to the power of uh, 15x squared which is replaced as t we then have uh, x dx. Now this can be written as uh, t times of uh, e raised to the power of t. Uh, we then have this uh, x uh, dx. Now notice that uh, this x dx can be replaced as uh, dt over 30. So let's do that. So therefore this becomes uh, t times of e raised to the power of t multiplied with uh, dt over 30. And uh, we can now see that uh, we have completely replaced all x uh, in the original integral in terms of the t variable. So this is the integral. In the next step I'm going to factor this uh, 1 over 30 out of the integral since it is a constant so it becomes 1 over 30 t times uh, e raised to the power of t dt. So now we see that uh, we have to integrate uh, this expression that is uh, t times uh, e raised to the power of t. Uh, so this looks like a product of uh, two different functions uh, that is uh, t is uh, algebraic and uh, e raised to the power of t. This is uh, exponential function. So when we have a product of uh, two different types of function, we use the uh, integration by parts method. Integration by parts. And uh, in this method, uh, we have a formula that is uh, integral of u dv and this equals uh, uv minus uh, integral of uh, v du. So basically we have to determine the u as well as the dv from this uh, integral and there is a rule to uh, choose u rule to choose u which is uh, called as uh, i late rule that is i l a t e and each letter in this uh, acronym stands for uh, type of function i replace uh, represents uh, inverse function l uh, represents uh, logarithmic function uh, uh, e represents uh, algebraic function, T represents uh, trigonometry function and E represents uh, exponential function. And we should uh, uh, look this rule in this uh, order that is from left to right. And when you see this rule from left to right, uh, inverse function comes first. So uh, we have to look for any inverse function in this integral. Do we have any inverse function? Uh, if then we have to choose that as u. Since we don't have uh, any inverse function, basically we have only two types of function 
that is uh, algebraic and exponential. So we just ignore this, then move on to the next letter that is L. And then we have to look for any logarithmic function in this uh, integral. We don't have logarithmic function. So we then move on to the next letter as like this. So the next letter is uh, A, which stands for algebraic. Clearly, we have this uh, T as the algebraic function. And this means uh, we have to choose that as uh, U. So therefore, uh, uh, as following this rule, we have determined that uh, U equals uh, T. And once we have determined the U, uh, rest of the terms uh, inside the integral, we can choose them as uh, DV. So this is uh, T is uh, U and e raised to the power of t dt is dv. I am going to write this here. So I write uh, dv equals uh, e raised to the power of t dt. So now we have uh, identified the u as well as uh, dv. We should uh, find uh, v as well as du. So this side uh, we uh, find uh, the differentiation. That is we basically find the de derivatives. So we get uh, du equals uh, dt. And on this side, we integrate. So integration of uh, dv is v. And integration of e raised to the power of t is uh, e raised to the power of t. We will not have to put the integration constant at this time. We can put this later on. So I'm now going to write this uh, integral in terms of the formula. That is, uh, this is the uh, integral 1 by 30 integral of uh, t times uh, e raised to the power of t dt. We have already identified that uh, this is our u and e raised to the power of uh, dt is uh, dv. And this means uh, we can apply the formula that is uh, the integration by parts formula is uh, u dv equals uh, uv minus uh, integral v du. So when we apply this formula here, we should put uh, u first, that is uh, t, and then multiply with v. We have identified v as e raised to the power of t. So I put uh, e raised to the power of t. And then we should put this minus. So I put this uh, minus integral of v du. So I put v as uh, e raised to the power of uh, t. And then we have also identified the du, or we determined it, it is uh, dt. So therefore, this uh, part, so this part is uh, equivalent to this part. We have to evaluate this. But since we have this 1 by 30 in front, I'm going to multiply this uh, exact expression by 1 by 30. So I put uh, 1 by 30 times of uh, this expression. Let me rewrite this a little bit clearly. So basically, this uh, integral equals 1 over 30 times of uh, t times of uh, e raised to the power of t minus uh, integral of uh, e raised to the power of t dt. So we know that uh, uh, we have to integrate this uh, second expression. So in the next step, uh, I'm going to write this as uh, 1 over 30 and this is uh, t times of uh, e raised to the power of t and then integral of e raised to the power of t when we use the integration formula it is uh, e raised to the power of t and uh, we can now put this integration constant c so we have utilized the integration by parts formula and uh, integrated the expression in terms of t but uh, our actual uh, integral is in terms of x what is that? We have used the substitution for t, which is 15x squared. So we have to give this answer in terms of x variable. So replace uh, t by 15x squared. Let me do that. So therefore, this equals uh, 1 over 30 times of uh, 15x squared e raised to the power of uh, replace t by 15x squared. So it becomes uh, e raised to the power of 15x squared minus uh, e raised to the power of uh, t, which is uh, 15x squared, plus the integration constant c. Notice that we can factor this term e raised to the power of uh, 15x squared, since we have this in the both the terms. So therefore, this becomes uh, 1 over 30. I factor this uh, e raised to the power of uh, 15x squared, 
and when I do that uh, inside the first term I will have uh, 15 x squared minus uh, the next term I will have uh, 1 plus uh, c. So this is the final expression uh, the, or the result of the given integral. That is uh, the integral of uh, 15 x cube e raised to the power of uh, 15 x squared dx equals uh, 1 over 30 e power 15 x squared times uh, 15 x squared minus 1 plus the integration constant c.